and then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. No, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you be. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. That's enough, Grace. Stay out of this. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Do you yield? Never! <clears throat> How do you like these odds? Mr. Kenway. These fought. We were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day.
Mr. Kenway. Captain? Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. He's got our rations again. These are shitteries. He's not taking like his ass off. He keeps his face in too. We're stuck with tinned fish and biscuits. You looking for another fight? That it? Go away. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads to both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Ethan Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. They're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs. Reduced rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. James. Aye. Haytham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. So, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk them down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. 
Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Again, claims were not. And why? We're stuck with ten fish and biscuits. Curious. Most curious. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My theory is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it... Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Feet to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot! Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead! Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks! Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? They'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. All right, all right. We need those bro! 
up! Secured! I told you this was madness! Mind yourself. I'll fix your sail for you. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see.
Master Kenway. Master Kenway. Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle it. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives, I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Kind of you to say, but I think you overestimate me. Impossible, sir. This way. Boston's quite a lively city. There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might discover. Hold a moment. We need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But, should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. What do you need, my friend? We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not cry. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well. But he saw the Order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause. And you may yet know our plans as well. I should like nothing more, sir.
You lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Masters Lee and Kenway, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. We don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Will let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout. Take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. About the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. into position, but wait for me to take the first shot.
Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! What now? We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. I won't ask again. Agreed. kind is no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't? They'll know. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. A shame so many had to die. Aye. Terrible tragedy, that. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rabble. So still, after it. Have a little help, please. Quit yet, Brian. Have it. Wait. Them bodies is sure to have loot on them. Would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst. The watch will be a flood, or should they see that? They even speak to our clients and threaten them with all manner of punishment. You fools with knives. They ain't so tough. It's not the scoundrels I'm concerned with. The watch will be a flood, or should they see that? Oh! 
badges. <laughs> 